All right, I found a couple of these on eBay. These are infrared motion sensing modules. You can buy them very inexpensively. They're maybe three or four dollars including shipping each. I got two of them. And it wouldn't even pay to make something like this for that kind of money. But the IR module is right underneath this lens. When the infrared module detects something in range, one of these adjusts the time frame of how long it stays activated and the other one is the distance very easy to connect three pins it takes up to twenty volts but I'm running it on six six or twelve actually it works perfect one is the plus voltage in one is ground and one is the voltage out the voltage out comes out to around roughly three point three three point four volts once this is activated so if something moves in front of this, you're going to have roughly 3.4 volts on the output pin come on for a preset duration uh, adjusted with this potentiometer right here. Now what I'm going to do with it, I have, I have one of these simple dark activated lamp circuit diagram laying around, which is right here. So when it gets dark, I, I don't want this working all the time when somebody walks in front of it. I want to have it at night, so it has to be done. This circuit right here, what it'll do is power will be supplied to the voltage pin of the infrared module only when it's dark out. So once the lighting is right on this, you can see the photo cell right here. Once the lighting is right and it gets dark, then and only then will power flow into this module allowing it to work. We're going to have these two together now. So I'm going to have, I'll have a 12 volt transformer powering this. And when this triggers, when it gets dark, power will flow into this unit, turning this unit on. If somebody walks in front of the sensor, the output pin will go to 3.4 volts. Like in the shitty diagram I have here. All right. So basically you can have 3.3 or 3.4. I'm going to feed that output in through a 4.7K resistor into the base of an NPN transistor. That's going to go to the negative side of the circuit. I'm going to have plus 12 going into a relay with a back EMF diode. And the other side of the relay is going to be the open and closed portion of the circuit that you want to control. So you could put just about anything you want on this side up to the rated capacity of the relay. So it'll be a pretty handy circuit to have and very inexpensive to make. And a lot of places don't sell modules like this that you could just hook up to a half inch knockout on an electrical box or any other fixture to turn it on and off like that. I looked in Lowe's and Home Depot and they did not have it. I actually had to. That's why I ordered this to make this circuit. So it's pretty easy. You're going to want to put together this circuit first and right where this bulb is, is where you're going to use the top part is the plus, the bottom part is the uh, negative, and you're going to connect that to these two wires here, which powers this photocell circuit. Once the circuit activates, when it gets dark out, which you can adjust the sensitivity for, power will flow into the PIR infrared module, allowing it to function. Once it's triggered, 3.3 .3 to 3.4 volts will flow into the base of a transistor which will turn on a relay which in turn will activate whatever you want it could be 12 volts 120 whatever you desire very simple to do pick these up on ebay they're dirt cheap and the link to this is simple dark activated lamp circuit diagram it's at simpleelectronic.com you could look up that website simpleelectronic.com and just type simple dark activated lamp circuit. I'm pretty sure I have this in my video list, but check it out.